Welcome to our video on mastering English garands, specifically focusing on when to double the consonant. In this video, we'll break down the rules and provide clear examples to help you understand this important aspect of English grammar. Our first rule covers one-syllable words. If a one-syllable verb ends in a single consonant preceded by a single vowel, you double the consonant before adding ing. For example, the verb run becomes running. Other examples include sit becoming sitting and plan becoming planning. Remember, this rule only applies when the word is one syllable and ends in a single consonant. The second rule applies to multi-syllable words. If the verb has more than one syllable, you double the final consonant if the last syllable is stressed and it ends with a single consonant preceded by a single vowel. For instance, begin becomes beginning and regret becomes regretting. It's important to note the stress on the last syllable when applying this rule. Rule three is about consonant clusters. If a verb ends with more than one consonant, known as a consonant cluster, you do not double the consonant. Examples include help becoming helping, work becoming working, and jump becoming jumping. Since these verbs end in clusters, we simply add ing without doubling the final consonant. The fourth rule deals with verbs that end in a silent e. For these verbs, you drop the e and add ing without doubling the consonant. For example, make becomes making, bake becomes baking, and take becomes taking. The silent e is removed before adding ing. The fifth rule applies to verbs ending in a vowel followed by Y. In this case, you do not double the consonant. Examples include play becoming playing, enjoy becoming enjoying, and relay becoming relaying. The final Y remains unchanged and we simply add ing. 